Welcome back, everyone, to Nanalyze the Dawn. I'm your host, Dominic, or Shadow Fury, whichever you prefer. And we have a match between Izaride and Kshatriya on Mercurial. If this map seems familiar to you, it's because it used to be known as Quicksilver. But Quicksilver had too many trees. So Mercurial is basically Quicksilver, but Savannah style. Actually, it looks really good. It looks really good. I love the use of the bushes. And the... It's also more, I guess, more realistic ground. Quicksilver was weirdly shiny, and granted, this also is a bit weirdly shiny. Where's the sun? There's the sun. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's a bit more realistic shiny. I mean, it's still kind of like wet ground swampy, which makes sense. Also, it makes the whole acid water thing more obvious, and also also makes it harder to walk into. Quicksilver used to have ramps into the water while having damaging water. Mercurial does not. So you're not going to be able to get into the water easily. I think... You still kind of could, but not really. Anyway, he's right going for Cloaky Bots. Kshatriya also going for Cloaky Bots. I have not seen Cloaky Bots used in a while regularly. I mean, we saw them a bit last week, but we're seeing, we're seeing more factories, different factories. In the last game, we had Spires and Shield. The game before was Hovercraft Mirror. And a demonstration of the nerfs that Raiders got. So retreating is less effective than it used to be. It's not a complete removal of the retreat bonus, but basically a lot of units can attack or can target slightly out of their range. So it used to be if you were retreating, your units could fire, your opponents couldn't. Now it's just you're farther away so you have more room to dodge their assaults. So you'll survive a bit longer, but you won't necessarily not get hit at all. Still though, good micro will win the day, as it's right just pointed out there. Shatra are actually in a bit of a tight, sp tight spot because they are a little low on glaives. If Izrad wins this little skirmish right now, they should be in a strong position, but Izrad is having trouble doing so. Shatra retreating into the Lotus. Izrad wisely retreating away from that. And that will be a... Well, that'll be the opening. I mean, Shatra's going to have a bit of a harder time expanding out here. So Izrad will likely win the economy game early on. Though Kshatriya going for Scythes, just because that'll open things up a little bit. I mean, it's going to be a bit hard. Scythes don't do especially good against Glaives. I feel like Scythes are more just as counter-rating. Getting rid of some of, some of the Metal Extractors over to the back more than anything. Still, though, we have Scythes coming in, and that's exactly what they're doing. Going around back, trying to find what they can, trying to get the information raid out. Because Kshatriya knows they've lost the early Raider skirmish game. They've actually seeded the early Raider skirmish game, going straight to Reaver Knight. Three minutes into the game, deciding Izzeride, okay, you can have the Glaives. That's cool. I'm just going to build their counter. And Izzeride seems to be none the wiser, especially about this Scythe. Kshatriya playing the smart too. They aren't letting their, their economy get too weak. They have 36 energy coming in here. Building with 20, and that's at minimum... A minimum 24. It is 0.6 minimum on this map, the top section, so smartly played there. Shatra should be able to avoid losing cloaking as the scythe is going to be managing to actually make some value. He is right at the same time going into the assault. Lotuses will have a bit of a hard time dealing with all of this coming in here. One, one Lotus alive. All the medley tractors down. Izzeride's glaives coming in perfectly. <laughs> There's the Revenge Scythe trying to find what it can, which does find a Metal Extractor, so it's getting some revenge. But he is right, still absolutely wins this fight. And unfortunately, Kshatriya not moving this. If they had moved that Scythe, be different, but the Glaive's going to be just centering out on the Scythe. One of them does spot it. The rest will be coming in to counter it. And that Scythe will soon be no more... Same time, Knight's coming in to get rid of some of the Glaives. The Glaives are not together. Glaives in large enough numbers will be able to get rid of the Scythe, or sorry, the Knight, because the Knight does have no splash damage. But one at a time, no. No, one at a time, the Knight wins. And with the Reaver support, it's going to be pretty well impossible for a massive Glaives to actually get rid of the Knights. And Reavers and Knights are about the same speed, so it should be very easy to keep the army together. The hard part is going to be keeping the territory together, as Kshantria is very quickly going to be losing territory. It looks like Izzeride will be expanding, probably rebuilding here, and then expanding all the way down here. 
There's no reason not to. Izarite has full control over that section of the map. And at the same time, Izarite actually deciding they're also going to expand over to the southeast. And they have pretty much full control over that too. So we're going to see the commander likely go back here. Oh no, not the commander. See one of the conjurers go back here. Build the rest of that up. It'll be a bit difficult to hold on to though. And I kind of wish that Izarite would do both. I think they can get away with it. But I think they should just because they're going to have a hard time getting through all these knights. Lotus is managing to help. Izarite's commander, unfortunately, alone against a knight, but doing a fine job getting rid of the knights. Also losing their commander. Missed that. Sorry about that. But more importantly, they get rid of all the, gets rid of all the glaives. And we are seeing switch over to knight as well. So both players are deciding to switch to knight. But knight glaive versus knight reaver. Oh, that's going to be kind of down to how it's played. But I feel the advantage is in Kshatriya's favor. Just because it's going to be... Knight Reaver. I mean, that's wiped out the Glaives. Yeah, no big deal there. And actually, Reaver coming into the Northwest, wiping out the Conjurer, taking out the construction. That's exactly what I wanted to see. I mean, the Conjurer. The Reaver is also good. Also want to see that. Good defense coming in from Kshatriya. But the only thing that is going to be challenging as Izarad's commander able to jump away. As people in spec chat are pointing out, as you can see on stream. Yeah, that was... Should have targeted the commander. That being said, Chatri is still doing a fine job. They're managing to maintain territory. They're defending against the knights. They managed to push back Chatri or push back Izarite as well. So the only thing needed to do now is reclaim and rebuild. All right, turn metal reclaim. Start getting all these metal extractors. That would be that'd be the thing to do. Let's see, knights. Knights do not have AOE. It would show up here in the lightning gun. If they might have, if they have a very tiny AOE, I, I don't think they do. Like, some attacks have like a tiny, 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 like almost nothing but a little bit there if units are overlapping AOE. I don't think knights even have that. Certainly not at the scale of the units here. Now, as you can see here, knights do not have AOE. And speaking of, though, Izaride able to completely wipe out Kshatriya's knights. Man is going to be very difficult to deal with this ride Basically wiping out Kshatriya's army. So everything I said before about managing to maintain control, that's kind of no longer the case. Kshatriya very quickly losing control over this game. As Izaride, while they don't have a lot of economy, they do have an army advantage that Kshatriya doesn't have a whole lot of tools to get rid of. Honestly, though, I'd like to see a, an imp. An imp or two, like imp, swall, like flanked by glaives, just to distract uh, glaives, distract the knights, and the imp comes in, stuns out the knights, or two imps probably actually. That would be, I think, an effective strategy to get rid of these knights, but it's also kind of hard to manage. All right, that's a lot of multitasking to deal with. Although we are seeing actually glaive Ronin, also not a bad idea. Ronin do a fine job against knights. I mean, knights are slower units that can't really outrange Ronin. But at the same time, it's not really enough units. They're certainly trying. Uh, uh, certainly admirable. And Glaive's sacrifice will hopefully for Kshatriya not be in vain. Wait, what? Oh. Game chat's talking about stun stuff. Yeah, that's... Yeah, people in the chat pointing out, yeah, Imp can stun knights for 10 seconds. Absolutely, Pet Turtle. That's... That is very... That is a very apt point. And with that Imp, that would actually get... Like, that would really slow things down here. Especially if the Imp managed to get in position before the knights saw it. Like, if the Imp ran in, it'd be different. Although, to be fair, we're playing Cloak, you can just area Cloak around your conjurers, like... Kshatri has the energy for it. Easily has the energy for it. They get area cloak around the conjurers and then use that to get the imp up close and personal, stun them out with the imp, and then follow up with whatever they want. Going for moderator, however, which is also a good choice. I mean, it's a little bit expensive to grab that jump bot factory, and moderators are individually pricey, but yeah, that's 
that is going to be very effective just to get rid of them, slow them down, make it difficult for them to assault the Moderator Ronin line. Are we going to see switch over to Glaive at this point? Yes, we are seeing switch over to Glaive from user ride. Still, a lot of these knights are just going to become reclaim fodder. That should give Kshatriya a path back in in this game. But he's a ride having taken most of the territory and, as a result, most of the economy. That path is going to be uphill and littered with rocks and broken glass. So, with that, we have Izzeride getting a backup army over to the south side of the map, which I means Chachi able to take care of the north side army, so that's at least something. But unfortunately, no conjures are in place to reclaim it, and thus, nothing's really in place to take advantage of the fact that all this reclaim is right in their backyard, or front yard, as it were. Conjure right here, too. But I feel like Kshatriya is having a very difficult time with the multitasking. I've kind of noticed this entire game. It feels like Kshatriya gets very laser-focused, which is not surprising. It's very difficult to multitask in general. It's probably one of the last things you learn as you become a better player at an RTS, is how to multitask effectively. Because first you have to learn how to do each individual task well, and then you learn them to the point that they become basically muscle memory, and then you're able to jump between them no problem. Or learn how to jump between them no problem. So I do commend Kshatriya for some smart thinking in terms of unit composition, but unfortunately there's only so much that can do when it comes to, well, the fact that they're not able to reclaim, thus they don't have the economy on their side, and also some strategies that would be really effective, like the use of cloaking or use of area cloak, which you can get with the Conjurer, to better use these units, especially better using things like imps to stun everything out. That is not what we're going to see, because that is a very difficult strategy to pull off if you're trying to focus on a million things at once and a million fronts. That being said, and there's not only one front as Izzeride now just pushing forces into Kshatriya's base, that's not going to be a real problem for Izzeride. Kshatriya throws in the towel, and that is game. Izzeride basically winning off of Overwhelming with Knights. Over overwhelming with Glaze and Overwhelming with Knights. That is how it goes. Although, to be fair, Kshatriya did have an army value advantage at some point in the match. Kshatriya never really had a deficiency advantage. Nor a reclaim advantage, honestly. Again, it just it a lot of it comes down to just multitasking, which is kind of hard to learn. And honestly, like I said, it's sort of what you learn as you're learning to do each task individually perfectly. It, but then multitasking is its own skill. Yeah, there's a lot of good ideas from Kshatriya. It just, they were kind of implemented one at a time. And I don't really, didn't really notice a whole lot of radar either. Well, at any rate, that is that. So we will have one last match. One last match, which will be Gota and Randy on Banana Republic. Match will be very interesting because Gota and Randy are two of the best players in the game, and Gota is basically the best player. And Randy is currently third best, apparently, and also, as we mentioned before, a former StarCraft player and really good at that, too. So we'll be, I'll be really excited to see that. Gota versus Randy matches are always fun to watch, so stay tuned for that. It'll be up in a couple of minutes. I'm curious if Banana Republic's going to play out on that, but I think the map the map's even enough. It's mostly flat. We should look like see vehicles. Probably Hovercraft, honestly. Anyway, stay tuned for that. Be back in a couple of minutes. <laughs>